welcome back to Abby Jam TV. It's me, Abigail, and today we're going to be making some sweet sugar cookies for Valentine's Day. And my mum is here to help with anything that I like, like oven stuff. We will put the ingredients down below. <laughs> So first we need to preheat the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. Oh, what else is it converted to? 175, sorry. So now we've got our thing, the <laughs> oil Um, We're going to line them both out with this. We're going to put in our large mixing bowl, combine the butter, sugar, and beat it with a electric Mixer. Oh, baby <laughs> Get our butter. We like to use stalk. Wait, what line am I going to? Um, <laughs> 225 grams. we still got a while to go. I'm just going to scoop it out and put it in our big mixing bowl. And now we pour that in. Mm. And now we get our electric beater. So, so we're be... done now and it's all light and fluffy. It should look like this. And next you want a little small bowl just like this one. And one egg, just one small little egg. And then you're going to crack it into your small bowl. Okay. Then now we get our what extract? Vanilla. So we get our vanilla extract. We've got this vanilla bean one. One teaspoon. If I can open it. <laughs> <laughs> After that, half a teaspoon of the almond extract. Oh, that's, that's one. one more. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit more than I thought it was. Okay, be. get your spatula and mix your egg and your vanilla extract in together. Okay, we're going to do that now. So, you don't have to use a whisk, but we. Um, Just do it on a low one. Low one. So. Before you take that, you can do that. That's what your thing should look like now. And then, in a medium bowl, com combine all the dry ingredients. Flour. How much flour do you need? Oh, I don't know. You need... 475 grams. And now we pour that into a bowl. Baking powder and salt. So now I'm just going to pour this into here. Okay, and now it's a half a teaspoon of mm -hmm. that. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Just mix it all together. Don't whisk it because it's. If you whisk that, it's gone. Go, yeah. I'll have a powder storm. Pour it into our big bowl. Whizzy way. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Because you see at the moment it's like crumbly, you, you just need to whisk it into that it will, it will turn non crumbly. We're just kneading it right now and because it's t it's turned into a really nice batter but we're just going to knead it because we need it a little more fluffier and it's very yummy. Cookies might be a little sticky when you take them out, so you want to let them cool um, out of the oven for a bit, and then they should harden. We did these by yeah, hand. Yeah, we didn't did we? these by hand because we don't have a heart cookie shape cutter, so you can use a heart cutter shape thing. This this is our glaze that we're going to be using. So let's get our ingredients. And first, we need a bowl, so we can combine all the powdered sugar and the um, corn syrup or golden syrup. We're using golden syrup because we don't have corn syrup. You'll need 270 grams of powdered sugar. Powders everywhere. So now we put all of our powdered sugar slash rice sugar, we're going to pour it into our bowl. Okay, 
quite gently. Very gently. And now we need to add our golden syrup. So you need two tablespoons of your golden syrup or your corn syrup. It's going to take a while because it's so sticky. It's a bit like honey. Teaspoon of the vanilla extract. Mm -hmm. You can use any flavour if you wanted to. Yeah. Okay. And then we need a tablespoon of milk. Very concentrated right here. There you go. One. Right. Show them it. Right, we definitely need more milk in here. Whoops. No, that's fine. You should feel like a thick syrup. Mm, that is a glaze. I think we might need one more teaspoon, I'd say, because if you want to, I'll do it one teaspoon at a time. One more teaspoon of milk. I reckon that'll be it. One teaspoon. So now we need to put it into three little bowls so that we can add our colouring to it. We're using this colour gel thing, but you can use food colouring. It's got it has got a really nice glaze on this actually. It's really nice. It's very shiny. And remember when you put the food colouring in, it's gonna make it a little bit more runnier as well. Yeah. So you don't want to add too much. Drops in there. So one. Oh, we might need. Add more. I'd say two more drops. One. Three. Why do I keep throwing them? Alright, so I put four of the red. Our red is more like a ruby red, kind of. And then our green is like a minty green. It's really cute. And then we've got this like banana colour yellow. So we've now got our cookies and now we're gonna put our glaze on them. Aww. These are gonna be so pretty. What do you think? There. So it's got to dry. There's the yellow one. Right, I'm gonna. I think oh, it's gonna be easier if I'm gonna hold these in my hand while I do this. So you can really see that lovely glaze, hopefully. I don't know if you can see it on here. Oh, yes, you can. Look at that. Also, these only take literally six to eight minutes in the oven. Yeah, and so quick. Do you want them to look quite pale? Do you want them to be still gooey? Yeah. Like gooey cookies. So we have completed. No, we haven't. Well, Abba's doing her last one. She wanted to do a multi-coloured one. But look, here are our Valentine's cookies. All finished. We're just going to wait for them to set a bit more. But they're all nice and shiny with their glaze on. Abba, let's have a look at yours. Oh, multi-coloured. <laughs> <laughs> they were fun and they were easy to make, weren't they? Yeah, and they also took them. Right, so thanks for watching. Make sure you like. Subscribe.